Welcome back to Weekend Edition. I'm Dave Delgado here with Uriah Vandenbosch. Now, PXC 52 in the record books. Let's run through the winners of each fight. Now, first off, Jose Ramirez taking on Frank Menno. Menno coming back after being down to pull off the win. Yeah, he swung and he kept on going. Uh, you know, the past fights for Menno, we see him come out fast. And uh, this time he got the decision over Ramirez. It was a good fight, though. But uh, I'm, I'm sure that uh, as he matures, Frank Menno is going to become a better fighter. All right, second fight, Scotty Eklavea losing to Jordan Manglonia in a 125-pound matchup. Now, Manglonia, the taller fighter, used his reach and was able to secure dominant control throughout that fight. That went to a split decision win for Manglonia. Yeah, and that was an also surprising fight. You know, we got both uh, guys that, you know, we've seen a lot of Scotty. We haven't seen a lot of Jordan. Uh, Jordan came out kind of like that hidden horse, man. He came out in uh, that reach. He went hard, and uh, some of his, his moves were way past any of our expectations. Third fight of the night, Tony Rages with a rematch against Shane Alvarez. Now, Rages, another fighter that came from being down, was able to get the rear naked choke in the third round. Man, that was Alvarez's fight all the way. All he had to do was just continue. Uh, but he got clipped with that one shot, and in his instinct was, uh, let's tie it up. And that's where the end of the book right there was uh, Tony. I mean, sorry, yeah, Tony came out and got that win, and uh, it felt good. That's a rematch. So, uh, you know, it's always good to get redemption. Josh Alvarez, big win over Yataro Miramoto in a 125-pound fight. Now, unanimous decision win for uh, Alvarez in that matchup. Yeah, but that was from the start to the finish, man, we saw so fast. I mean, those guys were going. Um, Miramoto, man, he just came in left and right, flying knees, straight forward. You didn't know what he was going to do, but uh, Alvarez, he kept his calm, kept swinging at him, and finally, uh, in the striking, he took it. He, he got the W through his striking. Kyle Boom Rages got the win over Rory O'Connell. Now, Boom back in the PXC after some time away. Looked real good in his performance. That was amazing. I believe it was Anaconda Choke that uh, finally all she wrote got him out. That was a pretty good start of the fight. Um, Rory O'Connell's a beast, but uh, he, got, he got clipped. He got bloodied up. I mean, he was all kinds of mess. And uh, Boom Ra Rages, man, he had got the W. It was awesome. In a fight that stayed standing, Kai Kara France picked up the win over Crisanto. Pit Patungi, a fighter that you saw numerous times, but uh, outstruck uh, the Filipino fighter. Yeah, and like we said, it was going to be all or nothing for uh, Pit Patungi, you know, former champ. He really had to show up tonight, and he kind of cut short where uh, France picked him apart, picked him apart, and then the referee had nothing to do but stop it. Tessa Simpson finally making her home debut. Oh, yeah. Really good in her fight, despite getting hip tossed and taken down several times throughout the fight. But she picked up the win over Sarami uh, Takano in 105 pound weight class. Yeah, with those throws over and over again, I really didn't know how it was going to be judged if it had to go to the cards because, man, you, you score points off of takedowns. But uh, Simpson was able to get on top and uh, was able to pull in that Americana, and that's all she wrote there, too. Trevor and Five Star Jones, big win over Jeremiah Labiano. Now, this was a fight where I kind of second guess him if he looked past Labiano, but he came in and got the big knockout win. Yeah, they both came out guns a blazing, and uh, for the first time in uh, Trevin's career, he finally got that TKO in the PXC. So uh, as we asked him, are we going to see more from you? And he said, yeah, we're going to see more TKO. So that'd be good. That'll give him a shot for the belt, maybe. Roki Martinez and Oban Takaaki, first heavyweight matchup in quite some time. Roki Martinez did not disappoint, came out striking, throwing the hands, and uh, really bloodied up and uh, took it to the Japanese fighter. The Guam fans couldn't ask for anything more with this uh, heavyweight bout. It's the first time we've had a heavyweight bout in a while. And uh, coming from the former champ, you know, Roki Martinez did not disappoint, and even Oban did not disappoint. He kept on swinging until he could not do it anymore. All right, stay tuned for Crime Stoppers when Weekend Edition returns.